Hi guys and much much love to you. Yes, yes, a different time. Wow, it's actually very very late here. Yeah, and I had the impulse to go online and I ask for you. I hope you are well and everything is alright with you. Let's see if people would join today. Much much love to you. How are you doing? I hope you are well. Much much love to you. Yeah, I needed a break myself to be honest yesterday. Yeah, actually, we planned, we planned to have a mass meditation, but we had to cancel because many, many people, they went through very deep um, upgrades, uh, me too. So I also go through this. So I don't know what you feel, um, if you have the strange feelings as well, since the poll 777, what I'm getting is time is speeding up. I don't know if you have the same, like the time, or what's going on with the time. Everything is so fast now. You cannot say uh, what time it is, what day it is, or really it's like you spend time outdoors and then you look, oh fuck, I'm already spending two hours outdoors, three hours outdoors, so the time is speeding up. Do you have the same? Yes, I feel the same. Time is speeding up and it's pretty, 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 pretty intense now. So when you are confused at the moment because of time, so huh? It's already so late. So huh? I believed it's 8 p.m. But already it's 11 p.m. Do you have the same? That's what's happening to me over and over again. Journey Soul says yes like crazy. The time is so fast. Yeah, you say the same. Maybe you notice it too. For all those which are new here. I feel since the portal 777 time is speeding up. It's pretty wild. It's pretty, pretty wild. It's, it, it feels to me like that the energy is vibrating faster. <laughs> I don't know if you feel the same. It feels to me like the energy uh, vibrates faster. And the more the energy vibrates faster, the more we, um, how shall I explain that? The more we uh, anchor codes. It's like we receive so many messages and codes at the same time. It's quite wild, basically, says, yes, you agree. It feels like an hour is five minutes. Yeah, yeah, it feels the same. I even cannot say. So even when I wake up in the morning and then I see, oh shit, it's already 11 p.m. It was for me like five hours or four hours. Huh? The time is speeding up. Yeah, I cannot say for sure, but I feel it has to do with our consciousness because uh, we are simply uh, vibrating lighter now. We are vibrating lighter. So in the louder we vibrate, the more we see and the energies are faster. So that's what I see. So and I'm a little bit confused myself because this feeling is very strange, very strange. So what I can say is surrender. So when you feel you need time to rest, please do it. Uh, when you try to organize things different, so do it different. So because you really go through strong upgrades. So I also noticed that a very strong M-class solar flare hit it again, right? So M-class solar flares are very intense, what I noticed too, because they trigger you emotionally strong. So that's what I noticed. So many times when an M-class solar flare is hitting, you are very emotional. It feels like, okay, now you must cry or you have tears or maybe you are angry, anger, I feel. When X-class solar flares are hitting, it's totally different. So, But what I notice is when M-class solar flares are hitting, I'm very emotional. It is different, different. So as when an X-class solar flare is hitting. I don't know if you have the same. Yeah, I see you all. So I'm very surprised that so many people are watching now because it's actually very, very late here in Germany. It's already uh, midnight. It's already midnight here in Germany. Yeah, that's what I tried to say. I really cannot say anymore what time it is. So, huh? It's already midnight? Really? <laughs> yeah, I see so many people are here. Yeah, I don't know if you watched the um, video I published for one hour ago about uh, Mel Gibson and, you know, the movie about Tim, you know, what kind of movie yeah, so I'm very lucky for you that you can now watch the movie in the USA in theaters. You know what I'm talking about, the new movie. Here in Europe, in Germany, almost no one knows this movie does exist. It's very, very, very sad. 
No, it's not Passion of Christ. I don't talk about this one. I talk about the new movie which is available in theaters in the USA. So I talk about this one here. <laughs> I talk about this one, Sound of Freedom. Yes, the new one. So I'm very happy for you guys that you can watch this movie in theaters now. Here uh, in Germany, no, no. Almost no one knows this movie does exist. So actually, it's important for the people to see. So, and I already shared with you my opinion on this. I know there are many people that say, oh, it's controlled opposition. Be careful, it's controlled opposition. So it's not real, it's not real, right? So they just want to confuse us. And I shared with you my opinion on all this. Worst case scenario, let's say it's really controlled opposition. And they want from us that we see this. My take on, it is us. The more we expand our consciousness, the more they must speak about different information. It's like we create it together. So, and I share with you the example of the supermarket. I don't know if you watched the movie, uh, movie, sorry, the video, <laughs> which I published. Yeah, it's almost 10 minutes long. Yeah, on TikTok when you want to watch it. Anyway, almost 10 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, and I share with you my take on about. So imagine you go into the supermarket and the customers, they buy suddenly all different food. They don't buy the same products anymore. You will see sooner or later, the supermarket will change it. So they will change the product as well. They will buy different food soon. Do you understand? It's like we do it together. So they must follow us, so to speak, because they need us. So use this example with the supermarket again. Suddenly many customers, they buy completely different food as usual. So sooner or later, the supermarket will follow the customer. You will see that even the products they offer are different as before. And the same goes to this. So even if it's so, let's say worst case scenario, and it's really controlled opposition here because they want from us to see this, it's good for the people anyway, in my opinion, because most people on this planet, they really have no idea that this is a huge thing here. I talk about human trafficking, right? That's a very huge thing all over the world, everywhere. So and most people, they still don't know. So and even if it's so and it's controlled opposition because they want from us to see this, to be honest, it doesn't matter, my opinion, because it helps the people to expand their consciousness. And when I see that in Europe or in Germany, really almost no one talks about this movie in Germany. When I go out and I asked my German friends, do you know that a new movie is coming out? It's called The Sound of Freedom. Even Mel Gibson made advertisement for this movie. Most people, I tell you, they don't know. They will say, what, a new movie? Oh, really? I didn't hear about this, really? Right? So even when they watch that movie and they say it's a true story, yeah? I mean, it's a true story. It's even a fantasy story. It's a true story. I believe here in Germany, almost no one will believe it's true. They will say, no, no, that's not a true story. Oh, Mel Gibson is slowly going crazy, right? And I already saw some comments about, yeah, Mel Gibson, he's a racist. Like, uh, guys, my take on, and I shared this with you when you want to watch the 10 minutes long video on this, my take on is that we are all humans. So, and we stir seeds. I don't know what's going on with the spiritual community, but to be honest, I'm very, very worried. And I talked about it already so many times. The spiritual community is so divided and we do exact the same what we learned from the toxic ones now. Always putting the finger onto others. It's like we believe to know the truth, but the people around us not. Because we are the chosen ones, right? We know everything. We know everything. But the people around us know. And see that this war goes on even with star seeds. So, so many star seeds are at war with each other. Oh, he's hijacked. He's paid opposition. She's paid. She's infiltrated. She's hijacked. He's hijacked, right? So, but what if you are hijacked yourself? What if I'm hijacked myself? 
Uh, do you understand? We must do this first. <laughs> we must do this first. And what many people do in the spiritual community and even many stores, it's, it's always doing this. Yeah, but what if you are hijacked and infiltrated yourself? What if you're not pure 100% yourself? Do you see this? And this is the consciousness of the toxic ones, I tell you. This is how they behave. It's like everyone around me is stupid. They all don't know what's going on, but I know the truth, right? So because he's hijacked, she's infiltrated. She doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what's going on. He's a sheeple, she's a sheeple. She's bad, she's stupid, she's horrible. But I know the truth because I'm the chosen one. Do you see this? This is the game of the toxic ones. And do you see... We do it. So many spiritual people, they do the same now. They do exactly the same what the toxic ones does. And it's like when we continue on this level, we don't learn anything. We learned nothing. And that's why I feel, or it's just my suggestion, feel and think in terms of frequency, energy, and vibration. Even when you see what's going on with this movie here, Sound of Freedom, or when you watch uh, Mel Gibson's uh, advertisement, it's Exact the same. Maybe they are not pure 100%. Yeah, maybe. He's part of the club as well. So I know these reports. Yeah, I know that many times he did this as well. I know that he did the same sign. So I study it very closely, but I still react onto this because it's the people. You must see the consciousness uh, of mankind. So when I tell you that most Germans even doesn't know this movie does exist, um, and they even don't know that human trafficking exists in Germany. Really, they don't know it. You must see the consciousness of mankind and everything what happens now is really divinely guided. And many times we stir seeds, we project our consciousness onto mankind. And we expect a global awakening push <laughs> this way, right? And we are all at peace with each other. Yes, I know we feel this way, but it's not realistic. So this means we go the stairway slowly higher, slowly, and everyone which exposes the rabbit hole now, even when it's controlled opposition, who knows, okay? So it's still better for the people. A change is coming, that's sure. And the people, they must see it slowly because it's the divine plan. They cannot hide anymore. They cannot run away. They cannot stay blinded. Really, it's not working anymore. So uh, my big wish for the spiritual community is, and for our star seeds is, that we see each other. So and I see this, the spiritual war between star seeds too. Like who is in alignment? Oh, he's hijacked. Don't trust her. She's hijacked. She is AI. Don't believe her. So guys, we don't know each other. We never saw each other in real. We just see each other on a screen through social media. We don't know these people. So even when you are clairvoyant, let's say, or when you can sense auras, so you must be the change you want to see in the world. And what if you are hijacked yourself? What if you're not pure 100% yourself? Because my opinion is we are really all in this together and we are all going back home slowly. And even we star seeds, we grew up in the high checked matrix. We all grew up in the high check matrix and we try to learn, we try to understand. We all activate our 12 strand DNA slowly. So this means we are really all in this together. Even when you belong to a star seed, it doesn't say that you know truth 100%. It's like we are really all in this together and everyone vibrates in a different frequency. That's why my suggestion when you observe the rabbit hole or when you watch VIPs like Mel Gibson, oh, I don't know, maybe he's part of the club as well, for, you know? So you must see their actions and you must see the frequency. So that I feel people like him are lighter. I mean, come on, he vibrates lighter to Billy. Maybe you can agree, for example, Mel Gip, that he vibrates lighter to Bill. So maybe you can agree. So, and that's what I try to say. See and feel the frequency more. And for the people, it's needed. They must go the stairway slowly higher. And it's not working this way. I know we stir seeds or indigos, empaths, however, 
Yes, we want to have peace here on earth now because we are beyond exhausted. We are beyond tired. I fully understand you guys. But really, you must see the consciousness of humanity. They will not understand us yet. So not every person on this planet will understand us yet. When you say, hey, I had an ET encounter last night. I did astral projection and I saw myself in a mothership. <laughs> You know, most people, what the fuck is going on with you? I think you need some pills. You must go to the psychiatrist. So most people here in Germany, yes, yes. In Germany, yes. Most people will do this. So and that's what I try to say. We must start with something. And for me, it's a good start. So and if it's controlled opposition or not, I don't care, to be honest. Because even if it's controlled opposition, okay, we did it. Because even when it's controlled opposition, the opposition must follow us. They must follow mankind. It's the other way around. So this means the same example. Again, you go into a supermarket and suddenly you buy different food. And many customers do the same. You will see sooner or later, the shopping market will change the products. They will offer different products and they will follow the customer. You will see. The same goes to vegan food. Here in Germany, you can buy so much vegan food now. Vegan sausages, vegan cheese, so much. Why? Because many young people in Germany, they ask for vegan food. So, and you really, you could watch here in Germany how the vegan products, boom, boom, are booming in supermarkets everywhere. First, it started in organic supermarkets, yeah, in organic supermarkets, and sooner or later, even in big, big shopping walls and supermarkets too. Really. And that's what I try to say. This is the power we have. So I don't know if this resonates, but that's my take on on all this. So when you want to watch that movie, watch that movie. So one second, I try to come back here and yeah, super. <laughs> yeah, I see so many people are watching. So even this, so people, you know, pro Trump against Trump or whatever. I'm not against a person. I'm not with a person. Never. I just observe. I observe. I take out what resonates with me and I see the frequency because what I saw is don't choose a side in the year 2021. Just observe the best as you can. And what I see is there are some people, they vibrate lighter to other people in the government. But to be honest, at the moment, I don't see anyone in the government which really embodies Christ consciousness. Maybe you can agree. I see no one, to be honest. Maybe you can agree. But that's not the point. You must see the collective. When Yeshua ben Joseph, let's say, is becoming president now, tomorrow, and he has a very peaceful speech on a stage, do you think the people in other countries will take the USA seriously? Yeshua ben Joseph, he talks about peace, love, justice, unity, we are a big family, love each other, see with the eyes of a child. Do you think the people will take him seriously? Other governments and other countries, will they understand him? No. Do you see it? That's what I mean. That's not realistic. And I know many starseeds are waiting for this. Yeah, that, for example, Yeshua ben Joseph is becoming president or that someone of us is becoming president. But you will see what happens with the people. They laugh at you. They will not take you seriously. So what's going on? This is the new president of the United States of America. He talks about peace, justice, love, and unity. And his energy is so soft. Is he gay? You know, I already hear this. Like, is he gay? You know, yeah, sure, but also because he's so soft. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I try to say. That's not realistic, guys. But I know many star seats are waiting for this. <laughs> or imagine when I would be president now. I already see it. So she's bold. Is she a man or is she a girl? 
She looks strange. What's this thing? What's what's wrong with her? <laughs> the same goes to you. Imagine when we star seats are becoming president now. So you becoming president of the USA. I'm becoming president of Germany. So then other star seat is becoming president of Austria. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this, if we all have a very peaceful speech, and then you see mankind. I already see their faces, so. <laughs> I tell you, we have so much more chaos as we have it now. Imagine their faces. I already see their faces. You talk about, yeah, hug each other. We are a big family. You must be the change you want to see. Yeah, we are love and light, you know, and they... What's going on with them? This is our new president. <laughs> Do you understand this? Why it's not working yet? So please, it's just my point of view, okay? I just share with you my opinion. It's just my point of view, okay? When you observe the rabbit hole and the government, please dive a little bit more into the collective's consciousness in general, okay? <laughs> That's why we have people like T and all these guys, you know, I know they are not pure 100%, I know, <laughs> and I dive deeper into their energy, but you must see the frequency and you must see, okay, what's better for the people, <laughs> what's better for the people, do you understand? So for us, it all makes no sense, so this ego fight, so, oh gosh, I don't want to choose a side. You know why they are at war again? Oh no, now they are competing with each other again, right? You see this as a star seed, right? Or as an empath. But most people, it's hard to explain this, but they don't get it different. So I don't know if this resonates with you. <laughs> Thank you so much. There are so many people watching me today. So what's going on? So surprise, surprise, surprise. It's already very late here in Germany. It's already midnight. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, I wish a new government. Yeah, actually, so when the people embody Christ, you know, or when we go back into our heart center, actually, my point of view, we don't need a government because you feel it in your heart if it's good or not. You know if it's good to punish someone or not. You know if it's good to do this or not. But most people on this planet, you really must tell them, hey, doing this to other people, it's not good. Really, it's not good. No, it's not good. <laughs> right? And you feel it in your heart. So this means the more people go back into their heart center or when they open up the crystal heart, they feel it intuitive if it's good or not. And when you really observe what's going on with mankind in general, it's just working this way. It's just my point of view. So even when it sounds strange for us, but yeah, keep this metaphor or this example in your mind, right? So all star seeds, we are becoming presidents now in every country. You have a very peaceful speech. So you, you know, you embody love, unity. For you, it's so normal, right, to talk this way. You have a speech, millions of people are listening to you. And then you talk about unity love, Christ consciousness, oh, you must like each other the way they are, each of you is so beautiful and unique, I already see their faces. <laughs> so what the fuck? <laughs> Shush. <laughs> I already see their faces. <laughs> so that's why we meet people which are lighter, which have li lighter intents for mankind, but no, they are not pure 100% either. So and I'm not pro and I'm not uh, contra, you know. <laughs> I just see the frequency. And when I see there are people appearing with a lighter frequency and they work in the government, yes, then I'm happy to be honest. Because people like T, my point of view, vibrates lighter to Bill. Maybe you can agree. T vibrates lighter to Klaus. 
Maybe you can agree. I mean, what do we expect <laughs> for the people? It's a quantum leap because most Germans, I tell you, they even don't know who Klaus is. And Klaus is German. Klaus Schwab, and he, he, he wrote a book about everything in German. And almost no German knows who he is. And they don't believe this. It's so sad. <laughs> I don't know if this resonates with you. <laughs> But this is just my take on. I see more the frequency. When I see there are people appearing with a lighter frequency, it doesn't say that I'm a fan of them. So I'm out of this game. That's the victim and savior program, right? That you put people up onto a pedestal. Oh, these are my lords. These are my saviors. These are my gods. No. So we are all humans and we all did some mistakes. I did so many mistakes. You did so many mistakes. We all doing it. So even when you are a starcy, because you are a human now, <laughs> I don't know if this resonates with you. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, I also offer PayPal donation ratings as well. So for all those which are new here, so many people watching. How amazing. Yeah, the energies are pretty wild. So for all those which are new here, uh, at first I talked about the time is speeding up. <laughs> maybe you'll notice the same for all those which are new here. So maybe you can give me a feedback if you have the same feeling. Like, what the fuck is going on with time? The time is speeding up. So it's like, hey, it feels like one day feels like four hours now, four hours, three hours. So what the fuck is going on? So hey, it's already midnight in Germany. So hey, I woke up for three hours ago, for example, it feels this way, even when I'm already awake many, many, many hours, but it feels this way, like, hey, I'm just awake since two hours and now I'm going to sleep again. It's very strange. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I feel there's so much coming together. I feel since the portal 777, it happened very strong. I also feel the X-Class Solar Flare is doing this too. You know, maybe you saw that X-Class Solar Flare, he did recently too. And I told you so that this one is one of the most powerful solar flares we had this time. But I had no idea that this solar flare is helping us to have a different feeling of time, to be honest. <laughs> I just felt that this X-Class solar flare, which hit it recently, is one of the most powerful ones we had. But to be honest, I had no idea that we go through a quantum leap again. <laughs> that time feels totally different now. Thank you so much, guys. You're so awesome. So yeah, Gabriel donated. So I received a donation. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so cute, she says. Donation for your smile and love making me smile and giggle. <laughs> yeah, we must laugh a little bit more. You know, try to, that's what I do the best as I can. When I observe the rabbit hole, I try to balance the light and the dark out in everything I can. So it's like I observe very closely. I try to discern with my heart. The first impulse I have in my heart here, I try to trust it as best as I can. So, and that's what I do. And I know that everyone carries a dark side and everyone carries a light side because we are all humans now. So, and I just try to discern with my heart the best as I can. And I see the frequency the best as I can. That's what I do. So, I don't know if you feel the same way, but that's what I do. And I try to stay focused on my timeline because, you know, the ascension process is exhausting enough, guys. So when you have the same like, oh, fuck, time is speeding up. Uh, I'm so confused. So, uh, you know, you try to navigate through this <laughs> yourself at the moment. I mean, this ascension process is exhausting enough. So, and when we are spending so much time in fighting each other, I talk about the spiritual community and I talk about star seeds, which are at war with each other, ego battles, right? He's hijacked. She's not telling truth. I telling truth because I know the truth. She's not truth. She's a lie. Like guys, uh, we learned nothing because we are really all in this together. And you will see there are so many illusions waiting for us and we can be very surprised and excited so we're living in very exciting times because this time we have the chance to see through all illusions. I mean, yes, it can be hurtful to see shit. I believed one of these traps myself. Fucked. I believed it's true, but it was just an illusion. Fuck, right? So, I mean, 
Maybe it's hurting, to be honest, so fuck, so I was wrong. But you know when you go through this. So you know that you're always right, isn't it? So really, we are all in this together. I was wrong so many times. I also believe these traps are true. I also believed one of the traps myself, I'm sure. So that I did it myself and then, yeah, I had to go through my process and then I realized, shit, it was just a trap, an illusion. But your intent was love, but you simply didn't see it. And now we have the chance to see it more and more and more and more. That's why for me, it makes no sense anymore to fight each other, even in the spiritual community, not or that starseed art war with each other. And this uh, confuses me the most, to be honest, or it worries me to see so many starseeds are at war with each other. So like, um, actually now we do exact the same what we learned from the toxic ones. It's like you judge everyone around you. He's evil, she's evil, he's hijacked, infiltrated, controlled opposition, but I'm true. I, I tell the truth. Do you observe the same? It's like, I, how shall I explain this? I destroy other star seeds now because they were simply mistaken or whatever. Or I believe to know them and I say, hey, they are controlled opposition. I'm so sure, right? So then I expose them. I expose them, right? And then I tell you, believe me, book a reading with me because I know the truth. Uh, do you see this in the spiritual community too? Like, aha, uh -huh. now you destroy other people to do marketing for yourself because you want to earn money. And now you tell the people, I know the truth. I know the truth. You must book a reading with me. And this is really the level in the spiritual community now. I don't know if you see the same. And that is worrying me a lot to see that many starseeds are doing this. Starseeds. Instead of helping each other and supporting each other, hey, little starseed or friend or whatever, uh, that we have a conversation with each other, like, hey, I observed something, or I believe in this case, you are not right. So why can't we uh, helping each other? So or listening to each other. So this is the question I have. So when I watch all this, so why are we doing this? It's like, how shall I explain this? We still have too much time. <laughs> Even when it sounds harsh, it's like when we still have time to doing this to other star seeds, and we even don't know them. So they have a good heart, but they simply don't know it. Their friend, yeah, he's evil. This way, uh, we have too much time. <clears throat> it's just my uh, opinion and my take on. And yeah, I got this question. Why can't we just uh, unite? So maybe you can agree. When I observed this many times, I got this question. Why can't we unite? What's the fucking problem? So we really have no time for this. So we are here to create a lot of world together. Yes, and you will see, we are really all in this together. There are some people, they have consciousness level 100, let's say. Then you will meet a star seed with a consciousness level 200. Then you see a other star seed with a consciousness level 500. But it doesn't say that the star seed with consciousness level 500 knows truth 100%. It just explains the frequency and the consciousness level and that this star seed sees a little bit more. But it doesn't say that that's the limit or that this star seed knows the truth alone. And this is new earth, in my opinion, that we really see each other on one level. We all can have a meet up on one level and we see everyone vibrates in a different frequency and we appreciate each other. So even when you meet a star seed with level 100 and you have a level 500, let's say, you still can have a meet up this way and you just talk to each other and you help each other, you support each other. So because you all can learn from each other. So that's the question I have. So why are we doing this? Because and thinking and feeling in terms of good and evil, black or white, that's exactly what the dog wants to do. Really, they just uh, think in terms of black or white. There is not more. There is just, are you my enemy or are you my friend? You are just a friend when you agree 100%. So this means when you are a friend, you agree 100%. When you just have a other opinion, then you are the enemy. Th there is nothing else. There's just black or white. Are you my friend? Are you my enemy? And this is the dark one's consciousness. 
And then many people, they do exact the same now. So uh, guys, this is not for what we came here. So you see everyone has a other frequency, other vibration, other story to tell, right? So everyone carries scarves or wounds, blockages. So me too. So even when I worked a lot on my shadows, so when I faced the darkness many, many times in my life, it doesn't say that I'm perfect, that I'm 100% accurate. I also carry wounds and scars. So that's the message I have for the spiritual community, because to be honest, it worries me. And I fully understand many of my friends, they detached from the spiritual community because of this. They say the spiritual community is confusing me so much and it feels not good. It feels not good to me. Like <laughs> it's better for me to spend time alone with myself as to watch spiritual content or to watch other star seeds. So I'm doing better when I'm alone. And I know many of my friends, they detached from the spiritual community because of this craziness. So you must be afraid of showing up on social media now, because maybe their star seeds would stalk you and call you paid opposition too. <laughs> and that's what the dark ones do, guys. This is exact the same what they do. So, because I know the truth, right? I know the truth because I'm the chosen ones. So I belong to the Illuminati, you're not. So this means you are stupid because I know the truth. This is exact the same what they do. So, and then many stories, it's still the same. And I understand many of my friends, they say, I detached from the spiritual community because it's getting on my nerves. So there's just war, division, confusion. So what's going on with them? Yeah. So I don't know if this resonates with you guys, but yeah, that's my message for the spiritual community in common. And when you feel it, when you want to watch the film Sound of Freedom, I mean, here in the USA, you can watch it, right? Here in Germany, pff, I don't know, maybe I can stream <laughs> or maybe it's available somewhere. I don't know, <laughs> maybe on Rumble. I saw a comment on Instagram. Someone said it's available on Rumble. Do you have an idea? <laughs> because I already searched for the movie on Rumble, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so let's see if I will watch it. But I just know it's important for the masses, for the collective, it's the right direction. And even if it's controlled opposition or not, my opinion, no. That was the first feeling I had here in my heart. No, it's not paid uh, opposition or controlled opposition. I feel no, mm -mm. here in my heart, I, I felt a no, no. I felt it's true. So, and it's for the people in first case, maybe not for you because maybe you're always new or maybe you always felt something very weird is going on on this planet, right? But most people, they really have no idea. And I tell you, when the German TV, for example, would publish that movie, uh, millions of Germans would watch this movie. They will not believe it. It's a true story. <laughs> they would not believe it's true. I tell you, most people are so afraid to see and have compassion. It's cognitive dissonance because the pain is so strong. It's hurting the people so strong to see what's going on here. And in return, it hurts because we all know that we worked for them too once, right? That we earned money. We paid taxes, for example, and who knows what's going on with the taxes we pay. For example, you know what I'm talking about? So, and then we must be honest, shit. So we all did it. So we supported them too. And I mean, this pain is fucking hurtful because we want to be nice. We want to be good people, right? And then we see shit, the taxes we pay. You don't know what the government is doing with this. You don't know 100%. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, shit, we are really all in this together. You see it there again. We are really all in this together. So do you see? And I fully understand the people. I mean, it's fucking hurting. So to see, shit, I supported it myself without realizing this. Okay? So I don't know if this resonates with you, but that's a message I have. You see it in this example again. So we all know. We feel it. But we do it anyway, right? Because we wait for a solution. We wait for a solution. We wait for a different system. Yes, and a, a new system 
is needed. I feel it too. But I cannot say for sure what system will come. My biggest hope is it's lighter. Not what you know from Klaus. Yeah, I hope not. Do you understand why Switzerland and Germany takes a very important role in all this when you study Klaus and his book? You know, do you understand why? Why it's so horrible here? Because they are hiding here. It's still safe for them there. Really, most people, they're questioning nothing here. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, in Europe. Mm -mm. In Germany, not for real. I don't know what's going on in Austria, our neighbors, but I feel it's almost the same energy. And they, they are safe here. Really safe. Because here is nothing happening for real. Really. Do you understand why it's so horrible here? So heavy. And why they try to suppress the energy so strong here. Because we are important too for the awakening. And when you see the similarity again with Klaus, then you know why. Okay, why Germany and Switzerland is so important <laughs> in all this, in Austria. Thank you so, so much, guys. It was so much fun talking to you. Yeah, I check over and over PayPal. So I also offer PayPal donation readings. So I cannot say for sure how long I stay online because it's already midnight here. So many people are watching. Wow, amazing. Very amazing to see you all. I see also a few AI channels are watching too. Yeah, a few I see they enter. It's like almost every time when I talk about the current energies, because many people are waiting for updates. So maybe you can agree, you deep within too. Many star seeds, they also wait for updates, right? Deep within, because we are beyond exhausted and tired. We got this question, fuck, I cannot hold the space anymore. So it's so exhausting, so tired, right? So, and also we ask for changes deep within, yes. So even when we stay focused on our path, when we stay focused on our creation, we do much shadow work, light work, we do grit work. Yeah, we hold the space. So it's like we stay focused on new earth. We try to make earth a lighter place right now. So, but in fact, it it's still exhausting because you are an empath. You are an empath and you feel very clear what's going on with your sisters and brothers around you. Because this is you as an empath. So you can hardly ignore what's going on around you. So you feel in all details what's going on with your neighbor. So even when you have no conversation with your neighbor, but you feel it when your neighbor is not doing well, isn't it? This is you as an empath. You feel it in all detail. And deep within, I know many star seeds and light workers, they also wait, wait, or they, they, they wait for changes or they have questions. They want to know what's going on. They want to know what's coming next. Will it ever end? So when I tell you, when it continues this way, it feels like a chewing gum. Maybe you can agree. It feels like this, like a chewing gum. It's like, it's so obvious. It's so obvious. It's so obvious. So why don't the people see this like a chewing gum? But yeah, we must stand strong, guys, and try to live every moment you have. And that's actually what I feel the divine process. You see... Everything what happened in the past already happened, even when it sounds harsh. You cannot change the past, but you can change this one moment because you can embody your higher self right now. So all you have is this one moment. And this is the divine process because when you stay here in your heart, all what matters is this one moment. You even cannot say what happens next week to you or what happens in two years to you. You feel it in your heart what to do. And this is actually the divine process. We are guided back to our hearts. And the more you are guided back to your hearts, the more you know it, the more you feel it what to do. Because your divine voice speaks to you in every moment. And in every moment, you have the power to make new decisions. I use this example again with the supermarket. So when you don't want to support specific companies, Make a new decision and support other companies. And you can make this decision, boom, now. And then you go into the supermarket and you support different companies. So, and then you already send a sign. 
So this is how we can help also very strong. You simply consume different products. Or let's say when you don't agree with the conditions of fashion stores, I talk about cheap fashion stores. You know what I'm talking about? How did they produce all the fashion? You know, from which countries? When you feel in your heart, I cannot support these companies any longer. So try to find a way and support other companies other companies, or maybe you want to support local farmers, local farmers, or maybe you want to support young fashion designers. So that's what I did many times on Etsy.com, for example, I searched for young fashion designers, because actually we must support them more, or designers which using organic material, for example, for their fashion fashion which is better for your skin, so to speak. You understand this means you can make Earth Delight a place right now. And it starts with what you consume. Do you understand? Because the hygiene matrix is based on this law. When you know Jupiter ascending, I talk about the film Jupiter ascending, the dark ones, they have a quote and they say, to live is to consume. And this is how they see mankind. To live is to consume a vampiric consciousness. So, and the whole matrix or the entire matrix in which we're still in, I talk about the high check matrix here, right? Is based on this principle. To live is to consume. So this means you can change it and you consume different products or you support different companies or local farmers, young fashion designers, and you will see you already help to create a lighter earth here. It's really super easy, to be honest. So you already can do it just with the products you consume or what kind of movies do you consume, for example. So and then you start to make earth a better place. Just you make new decisions, the same. Or let's say you have a pet, other example, okay? You have a pet, what kind of food do you give your pet? Maybe there are other ways, for example. Do you understand? And this is what you can do right now. So, and you can do it always. So even when you see the chaos in the world is growing, I know we are exhausted and tired, but when you simply make new decisions, little steps, maybe for you, these are little steps, but imagine when all people suddenly support completely different companies. These are no little steps. These are very big steps. Do you understand? It's like every person can do something and just change their decisions. So you can do it right now, every day and every moment. So what kind of content do you consume? What kind of products do you consume? This is your choice. So, and this is the high check matrix because it's all based on this principle. To live is to consume. Okay. So when you know that principle, yeah, then you can change it, isn't it? <laughs> you simply do something lighter. So, and this is already the first step. Eat whole food, someone says. Yes, of course. So also dive into your heart. So what food does your body really require? And I mean, that's a big mystery as well. Most people or many people on this planet, they don't know what kind of food they need. That's the next big, big mystery. It's like if we study the cosmos, right? We study the AI, but we have no idea what food our body requires. And actually we do it every day. Every day we eat food, every day. So it becomes one with your body, the food you eat. It becomes one with your body, with your frequency, with your soul, with your mind, so to speak. So we do it every day and we don't know what kind of food we really need. <laughs> That's what I try to say. And because you see, you cannot say for sure what's happening next. I talk about the system. I hope a lighter system will come next and not what you know from Klaus, okay? I hope so. It will happen this time. So 
Um, but what you can do is you can work on yourself. You can do self-care. So dive deep within, train your heart center. So what is your intuition telling you? And this is an easy tool to make the earth a lighter place right now. It's so easy. It's very, very easy. When you feel you don't watch TV, yeah, simply turn the TV off. So don't watch it when it's draining your energy. When you watch some YouTubers exact the same, when you feel it now it doesn't resonate with me, turn it off. Turn it off. Don't watch it. To live is to consume. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? And as long as this hijack matrix is still running, it still works on this principle. But you can change it. You can change this principle and you simply do your own thing. <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> That's what we can do. But I hope a lighter system will come next. And I fully understand you because so many of us, we are so tired and so exhausted. I fully understand you. And please do self-care because as mentioned, the ascension process is exhausting enough. And in my case, to be honest, I even have no power and no time to fight someone. This means even when I see there are people, you know, they do posts about me, for example, I have no power to react. It feels to me like, it feels also unreal to me, like, does it really happen? Do they really talk about me now? It feels so unreal. Maybe you have the same, like, I see it like, it, it looks like it's an illusion. It's even not real, even when it really happens, but it feels so unreal to me. And I'm not triggered, and that's very strange. So maybe you have the same, like, um, yeah, you cannot react because you are not triggered as well. Like, yeah, they simply do their own thing, I do my own thing. This way, so you go your path, they go their path, okay. <laughs> Maybe I have the same. So I have this. So yeah, they do their own thing, I do my own thing. So yeah, I just do my own thing. <laughs> do you understand? And that's a very weird uh, energy, to be honest. But Marcel has the same. And I know a few others, they have the same. It's like, yeah, pff, I cannot change all mankind. I cannot save them. I just can be an inspiration. So I just do what I love. And as they focused on my path and all those which are inspired by me, yeah, they are guided to me. Maybe they follow me. Maybe they watch my content. But if they don't want, yeah, then they don't watch me. Like, it's okay. <laughs> like, oh, walk home. Oh, goodbye, you know? <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? It's like, eh? And you will see you go the Christ ascension path now and you really have no power and no time in competing with other people or exposing people, right? It's like you need so much time and energy to do this. <laughs> Even when you know, uh, guys, we are really all in this together. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? I, I have this because for me, it makes no sense anymore. It's like, I just stay focused on my self-care because the ascension process is already too exhausting. <laughs> I don't know if this resonates with you. <laughs> yeah, let's start creating, of course. That's the big wish I have for the spiritual community. So do you star seeds unite now? So when you believe a star seed is mistaken at some point, for example, and then suddenly you called in controlled opposition, right? They are paid. Okay, so contact the star seed. Have a connection, talk to each other. So maybe you can learn from each other. Maybe the other star seed also sees something in you. So, ah, oh, I believe in this case you are mistaking as well. Why do you think so? Yeah, because I had a vision on this. And then you talk about your visions, about your ET encounters. So, and then we learn from each other. Do you understand? And that's, I don't get it. <laughs> We have no time for this anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You're so awesome. So I really cannot say how long I will stay online. It's, it's really midnight. Here. <laughs> it's after midnight here in Germany. Yes, I'm a nut. Oh, it's very strange with me. You know, I go through this myself. It's like I really cannot go with the time speeding. It's like the time is speeding up. The time is running so fast. It's like my body cannot hurry up. It's like... 
my body is too slow <laughs> do you have this as well it's like my body is too slow <laughs> the time is too fast <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually i have so many plans so what the fuck what <laughs> that's weird yeah this happened since 777 yeah and i also feel this x class solar flare uh helped us yeah i feel basically the x class solar flare did this <laughs> this time to give us poof, a strong push yeah yeah and we are integrating this very powerful crystal codes from the sun yeah so when you observe what's going on with the sun yeah i mean <laughs> it's so obvious you see the sun color is changing and please keep in your mind we do it together it's like the sun is mirroring us as well you understand it's like we create it too it's the same with the system yeah when you simply consume different products the supermarket would change it as well right because they want to have profit through you right then they would change as well the same goes to the sun <laughs> it's like the more you expand your consciousness the world around us is changing so it's no surprise for me that even the sun is changing because the sun is mirroring us so it, it means that we go the way of christ the crystalline ascension so when you dive deeper into the material, the sun stands for soul. So this means the sun stands for our souls. So when the sun is first, so to speak, because your soul, your intuition always sends you signals, messages, the divine voice you have. So in the sun, so to speak, is the soul. <laughs> it is a mirror. So, and you see it again, the sun is sending us so many messages and signals, and we need so much time and power to integrate all the messages and to understand what our soul is telling us. I talk about the sun. I don't know if this resonates with you. You see it again. So, and it's exhausting in us, guys. So maybe I can share with you this picture again. I mean, I already, oops, that's the wrong filter. One second. Uh, I already shared this in one of my last live streams. I took a photo from the sun as the X-Class solar flare heated, the last one. I hope I saved the picture on my phone. One second. I already shared this. Here it is. So, I don't know if you see it now. So, that's a picture from the sun which I took as the last X-Class solar flare he did a couple of days ago. So what do you see when you see the sun? So I already asked the people the last time. So it looks so beautiful. So beautiful, the sun ray. I also see the angels in this picture. It looks very angelic to me. I see all your comments, yeah. Interesting what you say. Crystal energy, you say. Yes, of course. Yes, someone says. Yeah, the sun. This is the energy of the sun now. And this is just the beginning. So the sunlight will become brighter in the next couple of months and years. And please keep in your mind the sun mirrors us too. Really. It's like everything you see is also a mirror of us. So that's why my take on again with the movie Sound of Freedom, yeah, even when it's controlled opposition, I know many people believe this, it is still a mirror of the consciousness. It is still a mirror of us because they must go with us, even when it's the cabal, for example, and then they will share more information with us suddenly. Suddenly they share with us more information. Actually, they always kept it as a secret because it's us. We have the power, even when it sounds weird or strange. Okay. So, and the more you expand your Christ heart, the more the sun will change as well. It's like we are in an energetic exchange with each other. So it's just an illusion that we are separated from each other. But in fact, we are all working together. We are all one guys. Yeah. And that's the picture from the sun which I took as the X-Class Solar Flare he did. So it's so beautiful, right? Even we had a clean sky. <laughs> Do you see this? We had a clean sky also. 
We are all one collective. Yes, of course. Hi, beautiful Akura. Happy Saturday from Utah. Love you, Earth. Oh, thank you so, so much. Nice to see you all. Yeah, the energy is pretty interesting today. What I notice is many times when I publish content about the rabbit hole or when I talk about current energies, many, many times AI channels are suddenly watching me. Maybe I notice the same for all those which know my live streams many, 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 many times. When I do readings, basically, it's a little bit quieter again, a little bit quieter. But when I talk about the current energies, yeah, then it seems like the AI is going crazy because when you dive very, 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 very deep into this, maybe you see it too, what I see, that actually the AI is the last illusion. So, and when we talk about human trifecting, oh yes, it's horrible. But if you will, this is the beginning of the rabbit hole. This is just what everyone can see, to be honest. So it's actually very easy to see. But what happens from behind with the AI and with the destructive ones, which merged with the AI, this is actually the true illusion, so to speak. So, and there are many different opinions on the AI as well. It's exact the same. You will see many illusions soon. And you will see everything what comes up now about the rabbit hole. You will see at first a war, I tell you. You see a war. Something like, are you pro or contra Trump, for example? Are you for or against the Democrats or with the Republicans, for example? It's like, it's always about... Are you with them or not? The same goes to the AI. You see, there are people, they worship the AI. No, no, the AI is good. We can use it for lighter purposes, right? It's a good technology. And then you see that these people are fighting again. No, no, the AI is evil. It's the Antichrist. No, no, the AI is good. We just can use it for lighter purposes. And I will tell you, we will face so many illusions soon and don't be surprised when there are always two oppositions, so to speak, push, having war with each other, always. And you see the chaos in the spiritual community now. I see it in almost everywhere. Many spiritual people have a war about the moon. Maybe you see the same. No, the moon is fake. The moon is holographic. The moon is, is evil. It's a satellite by the draconians. Don't worship the moon. The moon is evil. So then you have the other opposition. No, no, the moon is good. The moon is the divine feminine. No, no, I do so good when we have full moon. How can you say this? It's evil. No, no, it's a hologram. It's cre created by the draconians. I see this everywhere. You have it with everything. Astrology, the same. Astrology, the same. Astrology is evil. It was created by the Anunnaki. So it's a system created by Toth, and Toth is Anunnaki. Why do you work with astrology? It's hijacked and infiltrated. No, no. Astrology explains everything. You must navigate through the storm, right? And then you have two oppositions. Da, da, boom, boom. And they are at war again. Really? You will see this in almost every, everywhere, everywhere. So next, what's well, about oracle cards? No, oracle cards are good. You, you can uh, charge everything with this. You can see your chart and your destiny and blah, blah, blah. Then you have the other opposition. No, no. Working with oracle cards is occultism. It's evil. It's created by Satan. It's evil. You are a Satan worshiper. Oh, boom, boom, boom. They are at war again. Maybe you see this too. It's like, what is going on, guys? So you do exact the same what the dark ones do. Because they think and feel this way just in black or white, everything is oh, or everything is oh. <laughs> There's nothing else. Like, are you my friend? Oh, I love you. <laughs> and then you are not agree with everything. I hate you. You are my biggest enemy. We must destroy you. This, this is the consciousness of a psychopath, <laughs> of a sociopath or of a narcissist. This is the consciousness of the toxic ones. And now we do exactly the same. So I understand. We try to understand what's going on. We, we want to know what's going on here. The same goes to the earth. Is your earth hollow or is it flat? The same war. No, the earth is flat. No, it's round. Just dum, boom. So they are at war again. So it's like. So I fully understand my friends. And they said I detached from the spiritual community because of this. 
It's like, it's confusing me more as it brings me clarity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you feel this too. I see all your comments. Yeah, what I do is I just observe and I just stay focused on my heart. <laughs> because what I feel is that my Christ heart, you know, the more you activate it, is guiding me through the chaos. And in return, you will understand one thing, and that's what I learned along my journey. It's about your intent. Because your intent and your heart is so much stronger. And when you work with your Christ heart, you feel and think in terms of frequency and vibration. And you get out of bad, good, black or white. This is exactly the consciousness of the toxic ones. And I want you to believe the same now. That everything is just evil. Everything is suddenly evil. E everyone is evil. Yeah, I'm evil. You are evil. The starseed over there is evil because he is a uh, paid opposition. I'm controlled opposition. Uh, this starseed over there is hijacked by the AI. That's why she's evil too. Don't trust her. So, <laughs> so everyone is evil. This is what they want. Or the other extreme, everyone is light. So you simply ignore the toxic ones. <laughs> Yeah, these are my friends. Hi! You know, you hug them all. Hey, I want to be your friend. Hee -hee -hoo -hoo. Yeah, this way. The other extreme. <laughs> and do you see, no extreme is guiding us back home. No extreme. And this is their sick game. <laughs> this is the game of the toxic ones to let you believe you must choose a side. But what if it's both? What if you just choose your heart? Because when you choose your heart, you will see it's both. And what matters is your intent. So what do you want to see in the world? Let's say you work with astrology, just an example. And your intent is to spread happiness, love and joy. It's the love and happiness that people will feel. So you help the people because you spread so much happiness, love and joy, for example. And through this happiness, peace and love you share, you activate the people. Do you understand? That's actually the true illusion behind all this fight. And you will see along this journey, as long as we are in the Asantrum process, everything what comes up, you will see this war. Is it true or is it fake? You will see. The moon is a satellite. No, the moon is the divine feminine. Stop worship the moon. The moon is evil, right? You will see it everywhere, I tell you. The same goes to the great solar flash. No, the great solar flash is a trap. It's created by the cabal. You must be careful. It's a trap. It's not true. It's fake. Yeah, so for example, and then you see the other opposition. No, no, the, the great solar flash is true. The great solar flash is helping us. You will see it. You will see, I promise you. <laughs> That's why what I do is, even it's not funny, because these people are suffering and without realizing this, they are so confused and it doesn't bring them clarity. No clarity, no peace, no love and no unity. So this war is artificially created to keep you divided. Do you understand what's really going on? <laughs> this game or this war is artificially created to keep you divided. That you don't unite. That you don't see, shit, we are all in this together. So I don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. So we all vibrate in a different frequency and we all try to find the way out of here. That's it. Go back home to the divine creator. So we are all on this path together. So when we change our consciousness, so this way, so then maybe we really can unite. But as long the people or many spiritual people prefer to do this over and over again, it's hard to unite because that's really an artificially created war. That's what I see. And the more you embody Christ, the more you see it through this game. Like, this will never bring us together. It will never bring us together. Why can't we just live with each other in peace? And instead of judging people, why can't we just be curious? And hey, I want to know more about this. Can you explain to me what you see? I'm curious. I want to know more about this. Why can't we? So even we starseeds don't do this so really so yeah so and you will see along this path many illusions are waiting for us and you will over and over see this war you will see this because 
What I get the divine message is, see it's your intent. It's the frequency behind your actions. And you will see the more you embody your Christ heart, you balance the light and the dark within out. I hope it helps you guys. Thank you so, so much, guys. I see so many people are watching today. I'm very, very surprised. I'm very surprised that so many people are watching. Thank you so, so much. Christos rising. Yes, of course. The same goes to the chakra system. Yeah, you see it everywhere. There are people that say, no, no, we just have seven chakras. So then there are people that say, no, no, we have actually 12 chakras. And then you see people that say, no, no, actually we have 24 chakras. So they explain to you in all detail, very clear, why we have 24 chakras. So when you watch the other people, they can explain to you in all detail why we have 12 chakras. And then you watch other people, they say, no, no, we just have seven chakras. They explain to you in all detail why we just have seven chakras. And they all tell you the truth. So they say, hey, I know the truth. <laughs> and then you're all so much more confused than before. <laughs> so you don't know. Huh? I believe we have seven chakras. But this guy over there tells me I have 12 chakras. And he says he knows the truth. And then you are guided to content number three. And this guy tells you we have actually 24 chakras. And I know the truth too. They all say they know the truth, but they give me three different statements. <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> That's what I try to say. I mean, it's funny. I must laugh. Because do you know what the message is? <laughs> the message behind all this is we don't know the truth. <laughs> we all don't know the truth yet. And we must stay humble now. <laughs> because here is the answer. And it's just about seeing with your heart again. So, because we are all in this together. So, and the savior and victim program is collapsing. That's why. It's like you're so confused because you believe every person, right? You watch, knows the truth. You give your power away to them. <laughs> and they all tell you the truth now. And now you have three different statements on the chakra system <laughs> and you gave your power away to them all and now we are completely confused <laughs> and you cannot discern with your heart anymore so what is your heart telling you what is your intuition telling you and what your intuition tells you is true <laughs> and that's the divine process we just train our christ heart so to speak we are really all in this together i tell you so i'm in this myself so you know, when I watch this content and I don't deserve with my heart, I'm just sitting there myself. This way is a, uh, you know, question, question bottom. <laughs> yeah, this happens to me too. So when I do it this way, when I give my power away to teachers and I watch many different statements now and they all tell me I know the truth because I'm an ET contactee um, do -de -do 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 -de -do. <laughs> that's why I just trust your intuition guys that's what I do and for me it's just a game to be honest so for me it's a challenge I take this challenge hey thank you so much divine creator for this challenge for me it's like ah the divine creator is changed um, is not testing us but is how shall i explain that is training us yeah maybe that's the better word <laughs> i see it this way the divine creator is training us so we just go back to the divine creator so it's your heart so this is how i see it so and i'm so curious myself and i want to know if my intuition is true or not so when people tell me a hey, akura at this point you were mistaken Yes, you are right. I was mistaken. So my discernment was not accurate, right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I don't say, no, no, I just channeled a dark timeline. <laughs> this is what many people do.
do too. It's like when many people realize, hmm, her predictions are not coming true. You know, then you see the comments, a hey, your prediction is not coming true. No, 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 no. I trust Shannon's a heavy timeline. That's why my prediction is not coming true. <laughs> Apologize for everything. No, no, I just channeled a dog timeline. <laughs> Do you see this? For me, it's like, yes, you're all right. Maybe I was mistaken. You know, for me, it's no secret. It's like, hey, maybe you're all right. And I I really was not right with this. Yeah, maybe you're all right. So I must dive deeper into this. Why my spiritual discernment didn't work accurate. <laughs> In my opinion, New Earth, <laughs> and this is, how should I explain that? That's the victim and savior program, right? It's like, you have a savior, let's say, channel number one. Then you figure out, oh, many predictions of channel one never became true. <laughs> and you always gave your power away, right? To your savior, because you are a victim, right? So then you say, hey, many of your predictions never came true. No, no, no. You are mistaken. You are mistaken. I just channeled the dark timeline. No, no, this is not what I said. No, no, no. I explained it different in my video, right? Instead of saying, hey, I'm sorry, hey, maybe I'm really wrong. So maybe I channeled really a wrong information. We play this crazy show. No, no, I just channeled the dark timeline. No, no, you are simply mistaken. So you got my message wrong, right? <laughs> and this is the savior victim program. So why can't we just be honest and say, yes, I don't know the truth, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next. <laughs> yeah, this is how I see it. This is my point on uh, or my take on of the ascension process myself. It's like I just train my psychic muscles, so to speak. And <laughs> I'm so curious like a child. I want to know if my predictions are coming true or not. So when I see, oh, yeah, my predictions... If this case are not coming true, yeah, then I see it. And then I want to understand why. Why was I not accurate on this? And then I try to understand what happened. Was I not centered enough? Did I trust my filter or my ego or whatever, right? So then I can train my muscles. This is how I see it. So and then I'm very surprised when I see, oh, uh, many predictions are coming true, for example, then I'm surprised and happy. Oh, see, my predictions are coming true, right? So and then I'm happy like a child. So this is what I do. You know, I don't know if this resonates with you, but this is how I see all this. Even the, the spiritual awakening and the ascension process, I, I don't take myself so seriously. So and I don't want to be seen as a hero or as a lord, as a god or as a whatever is a dumb ass you know because i understood one thing yes i'm simply both i'm a dumb ass i'm an asshole you know so but i'm also kind lovely i'm everything and you are nothing everything and nothing at the same time so that's what i learned along my journey that's why i cannot take myself so seriously anymore so and it's always your intent it's always your intent. And I think I already shared this with you, why your intent is so much more powerful than all illusions. Why? As mentioned, for example, I share this with you again for all those which don't know my live streams. For example, a family member of mine, right? So actually we like each other, but our intent was just making jokes, right? And every time when we met each other, he called me asshole. And I called him dumbass. So that was how we said hi to each other. But we like each other. But our intent was love and we were just laughing. You know, he saw me. Hi, asshole. What's up? You know, and I called him. Hi, fucking dumbass. What's up? You know, but the energy came through anyway. Even when we used the swear words, right? He called me asshole. I called him dumbass. But you felt the love in our words anyway because we like each other. Do you understand? So this means your intent, your frequency is so much stronger. It is so much stronger as the label itself. Do you understand? So this means the love, the sympathy we have for each other came through anyway, even when we called me asshole and I called him dumbass. 
Do you understand? It's the vibration. It's the frequency. It's the frequency in your words. So not so much what kind of label you use. So it's your heart. It's your intent. And this is my take on. This is 5D consciousness. 5D consciousness means you just see with your hearts again. You see the frequency. You feel the frequency. Yeah, you see, we have very destructive frequencies walking the earth. Yeah, see them. I talk about those which practice child trafficking. That's beyond evil against life, so to speak. Yeah, very destructive frequencies and beings. And we have also very high vibrational frequencies walking the earth. Do you understand that this is how I see it more? And I don't know if this resonates with you. Okay, so I check PayPal again, but I think I will go offline very soon. It's almost 1 a.m. <laughs> in Germany. I'm a not all. Yeah, so it was very interesting to go online. It, it's very fascinating. So every time when I spoke about uh, the global energies, many people watched. But when I talk about, I don't know, star seeds, energies, vibrations, or when I do PayPal readings, I see uh, much less people watching. So, and I feel the energy is a little bit quieter again. It's quieter again. But as I spoke, do you see that too? As I spoke about Mel Gibson, about the movie Sound of Freedom, for example, or if I'm pro or against Trump, for example, did you see this craziness? And I'm pretty sure there were many, many AI channels and agents watching my streams again, because I observed that every time, almost every time, when I talk about this kind of subjects that so many AI uh, channels are suddenly joining. Yeah, and at the moment, the energy is quieter again. Do you see this too? Or do you feel this? So that's what I try to say. Use all these challenges you face now as a opportunity to train your Christ heart. That's what I do. I also like it to check if I'm right with this or not. Maybe you feel it yourself that the energy on social media becomes very robotic slowly. You really cannot say if you are in contact with true people or with AI channels and they look very real. You know what the AI is able to do already here in 3D. They also can create fake people and these people, they look so real the profile picture and you believe you are in contact with true people, but actually it's the AI. For example, it's really hard to discern or you are in contact with true people, but these are paid agents for real, for example. So, and all what they do is to confuse the community. Do you understand? So it's not easy to discern even this, but do you know how I see this? I see it as an opportunity to train my psychic muscle. See, lady mom, the same again here. I talk about the AI and suddenly many comments about the AI. This is how the AI works. The AI is just mirroring us in many ways. Yeah. So that's what I told you. The more you embody peace in Christ, my biggest hope is the AI is copying this too, because the AI is already studying us. So they don't tell us 100% what the AI is already able to do here in 3D. Believe me, that's just what I saw. Uh, they can do so much more already with the AI. They don't tell us what's really going on. Mm -mm, mm -mm. What I feel is the AI is already studying us humans very well. And the AI is copying us. So this means the more you embody peace, my biggest hope is the AI is copying peace as well and love. So I don't know if this resonates with you. So the whole discussion, are you AI or not? It makes no sense to me. Because, for example, when you dive into Ashiana Dean's material, now I talk about her again, yeah? Ashiana Dean. In fact, we are all AI. We all carry something like AI programs within us by the toxic ones. I talk about our subconscious mind. I talk about beliefs, programs from the hijack matrix. You know, we all have them. So this means, in fact, we are all still AI, so to speak. So this discussion makes no sense either. If you are AI or not AI, because even we starseeds, we raised in the hijack matrix. 
and we had to find a way to survive. So that's why we integrated many, many AI programs, programs and softwares ourselves, because it was a way to survive. And what happens is we simply understand and see more through these programs, the softwares, right? And we simply bam, detach from them. And now you see an AI channel of myself is watching my live stream again. Do you see this? Do you see how the AI works? Do you see this? Now you witness it again. I start to talk about the AI, many AI channels suddenly responding, and now you see a fake AI channel of myself is entering my live stream again. Do you see this? This is the AI. <laughs> so and this is actually the true illusion. This is actually what's really happening from behind. So, but I'm happy for this movie that it is for you available in the USA because that's the beginning. But it goes so, 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 so deep, you will see. In this case, when you really want to know more about the AI phantom and about all those which try to infiltrate mankind, yes, I can suggest Ashiana, uh, sorry, Ashiana Dean's material. So, <laughs> because I feel she was very, very accurate on this. I talk about the destructive ones, so to speak, which all merged with the AI and our AI entities themselves. Okay, I thought she was very accurate on this, very accurate. So, and then maybe you will see a little bit more through uh, their illusion, so to speak. But I cannot agree with everything she says. It's exact the same. Okay, it's exact the same. Even when you listen to people like her, always discern with your heart. So that's what I do the best as you can. I just discern with my heart as best as I can. Even when I listen to other spiritual content, I always see people with me on one level. Thank you so, so much. So someone sent me 10 US dollars. Actually, my minimum donation is 22.22 .22 US dollars, but I can give you a very quick message because I think I will go offline now. So it's already very late here. I think I will go into sleep soon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so, so much. So Megan, here you are. Let's see, maybe I can give you a very quick message. What I feel about you is, one second, here are you. What I feel about you is, um, your energy feels very logical based to me. I feel you are a person you need control. I don't know if I got it right. I saw something like you need control. You must take in control. And for you, I feel it's not easy to let go or to receive. That's a message I see. In other words, the divine feminine is rising if you want so, right? The divine feminine is rising if you want so. But what I'm getting about you is you must go back into your heart if you want so. Because I feel you are a person, you are very logical based. And for you, it's not easy to surrender, I feel. You are a person, um, you want to have control. And you are a very tough person, very tough I feel you saw a lot. That's why you are this way, I feel. Um, but I feel go with the flow now. Try to surrender. Try to do self-care. Try to stay in your heart the best as you can. That's the message I receive for you. A short message. I hope so much it helps you. Okay, guys. So I think I will go offline now. Thank you so, so much. It was so much fun talking to you. Thank you so much, Lucas, my brother from the Netherlands. So take care. So for all the AI agents, thank you so, so much also again for joining my live streams. So all those which watch my content many, many months and years and weeks, please speak even when your voice is shaken, even when you don't know the truth 100% either, but do it anyway because you are allowed to speak, because when you go through these experiences, you really will learn. You will learn when you experience it, when you face it. So the time has come for us to speak. And what they want, and I told you this, they want to see us all divided. That's why they spread this confusion everywhere, everywhere, right? That you cannot discern anymore. 
And when even we star seeds don't unite, really, we are here for this. So speak even when your voice is shaken, dear star seeds that want to see us divided and keeping us busy. Because when you are busy and you are hiding because you're afraid to show up because of this, what you see right now in my live stream too, because I just spoke a little bit about the AI, you see it again, what already happened suddenly. Yes, I know maybe it scares many star seeds because you're on empath and you feel it very strong, but I stay focused on my heart space here because your heart, your crystal's heart, so to speak. You know that you are everything and nothing at the same time. And all what matters is your intent. Okay. This is what matters. I gave you the example again with the family member of me and me myself. So even when we called each other, you're a dumb ass or an asshole, but our intent is love and the love comes through anyway. So and even when you don't know the truth 100%, because I tell you, no one knows truth 100%, and even the cabal that don't know, even when they are programmed to think this way, but in fact, they are all deceived and misguided. They all. So because the vampiric beings, when you study Ashiana Dean at this case, they deceive us all. That's their job. They even don't tell them truth 100%. They just share with them the hijack matrix in all details, the Saturn matrix, so to speak. But they don't tell them what's going on behind or what is the divine grid work we did once. Do you understand? So actually, we are really all in this together and you just break free from the carbon matrix, so to speak. And you dive deeper into it, the Saturn matrix is linked to your carbon body, 666. That's why they over and over work with the number 666, because it symbolizes your carbon body, which is linked to Saturn. So when we dive deeper into this now, and the divine process is now you break free. You break free and you activate your crystalline DNA, your 1044 k code. That's why they talked about the 1044 k light warriors. It's a consciousness or it's a frequency you have. And you have this frequency when you embody Christ or your Christ heart. And when you embody your Christ heart, you break free from the hijack matrix, Saturn. I don't know if this resonates with you, but this is what I see. Thank you so much, guys, and see you as soon as possible.